moon, it's your island. It's my music on Monday. That's a music on Monday. When a kid hits the keys and we say to the hand, please, that's music on Monday. Music on Monday, music on Monday. If you're gonna go and visit at Italia, you better get a visit from the mafia. <laughs> music on Monday. Buongiorno and welcome to Music on Monday with Zach and Shay at Improv Broadway. I'm Zach. I'm Shay. And we're at Improv Broadway. And John with me is the bellissima, the bellissima, che la bovara da chi? Ah, beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Shay, why are we talking like Italianos today? That is the musical that we are rifling up from the old Colosseums. All, all the Colosseums. We searched all the Colosseums <laughs> and we blew from its old Roman dusty tomes this one called Italian Mafia. The musical. Da Vinci wrote plays and musicals, and this is one of them. Yes, there are no modern references, <laughs> pop culture, or <laughs> otherwise. Well, that's what you think at first when oh, you hear that that's right. Da Vinci's writing it, but... Turns out he was he's, a prophet? He's always been ahead of his time. A visionary and man. in this circumstance, he's way, he predicted the whole crime... <laughs> Circuit. Yeah, you think the, the controversial opinion is that Kanye West made Taylor Swift? Mm, no. no, no. He figured that out. Mm-mm. Yeah, Da Vinci was so cool, and he wrote this musical that not only predicts it, but sometimes <laughs> will forget it's a prediction to state it as fact. Right. And it's flawlessly and seamlessly right. pulls in and out. Which is why, if there's misinformation or if it's like this seems a little stereotypical, it's like, well, yeah, he was predicting. It's the 1980 George Orwell. 1984. Version. 1984. Yeah. <laughs> he wrote the prequel to 1984, 1980. He thought Big Brother was coming four <laughs> well, years sooner. That's not what I was saying, but now it's true. <laughs> uh, he also predicted that it would be funny and appropriate to do Italian <laughs> accents. He knew that at our time, it would still be kosher to do because, as he also predicted, they're European. Can't deny that. <laughs> Let's just get that out of the he way right now. predicted that Italy would be European. A crazy <laughs> notion. A visionary man. <laughs> and he knew that as in the 2020s, as we sort of figure out what's appropriation, what's, what's appropriate, what's inappropriate, he knew that Italian would be right on the fence to be able to do accents for. He knew it. But enough about history. Let's dig into the meat of this musical, which we're not talking Italian mob or mafia like a New York boring done before. <laughs> we're talking about the Italian mafia in the heartland of Italy itself. Mario meets mafia. It's a me, a mafia. <laughs> it's a me, a mafia. <laughs> <laughs> and the the play or the musical starts out with uh who else but the head of the of the crime corp itself his name is Fredicini Alfredo <laughs> he also happens to be the inventor <laughs> of noodles and cheese combined together <laughs> First one ever. Because, okay, let's just, there's a little bit more history. New York Italian Mafia, what do they care about? They care about drugs. They care about crime. But what is the actual Italian that's Mafia? How, that's how they would self-describe. We care about drugs. We <laughs> care about crime. Their motto was... We care. And also family. <laughs> their motto was, isn't it about crime? And But that's not that's how it is. That's a reference <laughs> very few people will get. Our Utah listeners will appreciate that. They're dying right now. They love that. But, but in the heart of Italy, in the projected future of Da Vinci's time, what does the Italian mafia care most about? 
Noodles. Noodles. A pasta. A pasta. A fettuccine. A rigatoni. A, a spaghetti. A spaghetti. A, a Alfredo. <laughs> I like care about all of that. And there's constant turf wars with the Italian mafia defending their right to the recipes, production, and distribution of a b- 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 pasta. Because we all know carbs are just as addicting as cocaine. We know it releases <laughs> dopamine. We all know that. We all know fact that. Fact check us and then go fact check yourself uh, straight to your bedroom, nerd. I had pasta yeah. tonight. Check my dopamine levels right now. Check them. <laughs> check them right now. <laughs> Give me your finger. Check them. Ooh, oy, 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 oy. They doubt, are through the roof. Doubt your doubts before you doubt us. That's why I'm That's I've another always... reference that our <laughs> no, Utah audience That's not a reference. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, I'm saying it brand new. <laughs> Copyrighted 2023, shame it comes. But we see this for song. It is, it is the uh, Italian mafia family. They are discussing around the Italian dinner table, there's a new gang in town that is encroaching on their turf with a brand new type of pasta that n- no one's ever seen before. It's called pizza. <laughs> <laughs> The most Italian <laughs> pasta of all, cheesy bread. <laughs> they can't, they can't quite comprehend what bread and cheese is because they're so used to noodles. It's just noodles and olive oil and lemon. That's so all they needed like, before. What's this a new kind of pasta? Why the pasta is all stuck together? <laughs> and so they plan this attack in this family song. <laughs> Let's make a pizza. Let's no, hold on. I got this. Let's make a war, not a peace. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Vincorno, what's going on here? Ciao, Bella. Trappone. <laughs> I'm gonna punch them right in the pepperoni. That's right, I'm gonna I kick them right in the rigatoni. <laughs> I'm gonna yank on their noodles until it gets wet. <laughs> they'll never forget the revenge that I'm gonna get tonight. Tonight, tonight. Let's make a war, not, not a pizza. pizza. Let's make a war, I'm not, not a pizza. pizza. Let's make a war. Pizza, let's make a war. Another pizza. They're never gonna forget in my spaghetti. They're gonna say holy moly to my ravioli. Gonna say oh oh to my spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you wanna bring a pizza to this town, then you're gonna get a piece of my eye frown because I'm gonna turn these boys upside down tonight. Tonight, tonight, let's make a war, not a pizza. 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 And when they walk into my town, I'm gonna give them a fright because they bought a pizza to a pasta fight. And when the moon hits their pretty eyes, well, then you know that I'm gonna punch them right in the eye. Let's make a war. Incredible. This is, this, when I first saw this, I'm like, I think this is going to rival West Side Story in terms of choreography, singing, and tensions <laughs> between two groups of people. Romance. The romance <laughs> in this is way better way than it's It's really better. good. You'll notice that the accents are <laughs> truly unforgivable. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, Da Vinci didn't know what Italians were going to sound like. Yeah. In the future, he didn't years, know. So he right. his best guess. I think he's in the ballpark. Yeah, he phonetically <laughs> wrote it out so that when they pronounced spaghetti in this Italian it's spaghetti <laughs> And it is so, you can't even call it offensive because really he's predicting something that like is didn't happen. So we're not saying this is what Italians actually no. sound like in any way, shape, or form. We recognize this is not what modern day Italians no. took it off. If you're going to blame anyone, blame Da Vinci. This is what Da Vinci thought they would sound like. And I, for one, am disappointed. I disappointed him. <laughs> 
There was a review from uh, an early <laughs> critic who called the accents drifty. Yeah. And they said, if you thought the Mona Lisa was bad, get a load of his Italian accent. <laughs> And then they got canned for also being subtly bigoted. If you hate this Italian art. <laughs> well, no, because Da Vinci did the Mona Lisa, right? Right. So that's why I was saying his work specifically. Of course. Yeah. Yes, of course. They're just if you're a Da Vinci hater, come on down. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. And uh, the West Side Story, well, of course, this is not a parody or parallel to it. And I don't know if we'll have time for it, but there is a beautiful song uh, named, uh, uh, her name is uh, Spaghettaria. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't, you're right. I don't think that we have time, 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 time for that. that. No. So no. let's move on. There's to a lot the of other song. really good songs we'd like to hear. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I think yeah, so. Yeah. 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 So the this the established Italian mafia is just getting wrecked by these pizza boys. These pizza boys are coming in and selling this pot, this round, saucy, cheesy pasta. Yeah. <laughs> That's they're selling pasta by the slice. By the slice. <laughs> And uh, we see him just charming the town. Yeah. And we see this song of them just selling slice after slice after slice. They're so charming. Yeah. They realize, you know, because back in the day, like, pasta's not how, how we knew it now with lots of sauces and parmesan. It was, per- yeah. it was fairly plain. And, and so in this song, you know, a lot of the boys, they're getting hit. They're getting sliced up with noodle whippings they're They're getting getting whipped by noodles by a noodle of nine tails (laughs) they have long noodles and they leave the parts hard at the end and they're just slicing them in the back and so you know they rally together the team and they're talking about what's most in family what's most in family they say what's most in family family and they say kids mostly (laughs) one dad one mom sometimes what's most in family well that's a nuclear family it's like that's pretty outdated da vinci and i'm disappointed And honestly, Da Vinci, I'm disappointed. Yeah. There's a lot of problematic <laughs> problems with this, and it's Da Vinci's fault. Yeah. Visionary man, but flawed. So, so in this song, they're re- they're reiterating what's in family, and that's family. And that's family. And that's- what's <laughs> most in family? White's family. White's family, and that's what matters most. What's most in family is family, and that's what matters most. That's what matters most. Yeah, and that's what the song is called. And yeah. What's, what's most, most in family, family is family, and that's and what, what matters, matters most. most. What's, what's, most in fa- what's most in family is family, and family, family matters, matters most. most. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's hear that song. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bruno. I love you. You know what the mamita said to us every night It says to always be in your brother's corner every night Because when you break down a family it breaks apart like toast But you need to understand what's family and what matters the most Why most in family is family shins and we are gonna break their nose or oh, with this pizza will bring down the empire like a pile of dominoes what most in family is family and family is what matters most Oh, 
beautiful. A rally cry for anyone who resonates at all with Da Vinci's <laughs> interpretation <laughs> of modern intelligence. Which I would say is doesn't. <laughs> At yeah, least dozens. At least less Performed than by <laughs> the the world's first delivery boys. That's really what they were. They were the world's first delivery boys. So true. Yeah. Violent delivery boys, it sounds like. Honestly, not that far off from the delivery boys of today. That's right. Yeah. So, wow. Final song. So much happens. So much happens there, in between. There's a w- turf war. There's this so giant much. epidemic. Mm. There's a flood that takes all of the grain away. And those are the force of selling Tons pursued. of inflation. Tons of yeah, inflation. We've there's been three. kind of ignoring the romance. But to be fair, the, the two romantic leads were both very stale. Well, the romance comes in at the end. Yeah. Because it's very, it's stale you bread. You barely see them Damn. at all. Stale bread until the very end, and then that's what makes you care about them from the whole time. Because what they realize is that what goes really good with carbs, more carbs. Yeah. Because they realize that, hey, if we can sell pizza, you know what pairs really well? Pasta. Pasta. Pizza. And who needs a freaking vegetable? You know what our vegetable is? Gosh, Darn olive oil. Olive oil and tomato sauce. <laughs> yeah. It, we're basically eating a salad here, boys. Yeah, if you think about it. And so the heiress... And don't come to me with that crap that tomatoes are fruits. Do you put a tomato in a fruit salad? Some weirdos do. Some weirdos Some do. Some weirdos do. And then if you do that, you can call it a fruit. You, you've you earned that you've price. Earned. <laughs> <laughs> you paid that price? Okay. Yeah, okay. You, I, you can. Hey, you know what? I'm not going to argue with it anymore. If you matter if you matter to you that much, you, go for it. You've got tomato. bigger problems. You're, you're eating a tomato and cantaloupe. Kiwi. You can Isn't call it what you want. Yeah. Yeah. If you're, <laughs> if you're eating a tomato with a peach. <laughs> That's, you got more problems. You there, got yeah. bigger fish to fry. Uh, but the but the fish are fried in this last song as the heiress of the pizza kingdom in the heir of the pasta empire joined forces with the first ever pizza and pasta restaurant the first mom pa shop right in this song um i love you more than carbs <laughs> Oh, Maria, I knew that we would go far When you and I discovered the pizza bar I knew that noodles and cheese and bread Could be better than instead The war and violencia that we've had for all of these years I love you more than a carbs I would go through a field of thorn and bobs I want to carbolode with you Because my love for you is true I love you more than carbs scrumptious tummy and that's how you know that it was all meant to be bread and cheese we both go together mm, yeah, me, yeah, me. no matter yeah, what constipation Sweet Maria, oh mamma mia I love you, love you, love you More than bread We will inspire pizza love stories Till now until the morning on the end Hungry Hallies, Little Caesars Of the pizza We will make all the restaurants say Oh no, they won't believe that we're not dishonest 
Mamma Mia! It's a Mia! It's a me, Carvia! Carvia! Oh! I'm live on the Carvara! Oh, yeah! I love you more than Carvara! Mia. It's a the opera. <laughs> oh, beautiful and concerning. <laughs> I hope you loved that as much as we enjoyed, you know, really identifying a piece of history. Listen, listen, the adventures of Huck Finn, problematic, but important. As we read it to understand, it's a piece of history. Why would and I'm you not- <laughs> ever compare it to that? I'm not saying that this this is on the same level. It's just an analogy. Oh I'm just my understanding. Gosh. And Ethan, if you want to cut that part out, you can. <laughs> and that would be fine by me. <laughs> and extra fine by me. We love you guys. <laughs> And please keep watching, because really, when you hit our eye, like Like a a big big pizza pizza pie, pie, that's when when you say, that's more, amora, amora, this, which is, 